Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and thanks a lot for checking out today's video. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the time frame it takes for a beginning angler to get good at fishing or to basically go out where they can start catching fish if they don't know anything about fishing because here on The Fishing Teacher, sorry I'm a little sweaty, just cut out of the gym, guys. Um, here on The Fishing Teacher, we try to gear this to anglers that are just uh, sort of starting out in fishing or you know, you may have been fishing a while but you don't feel like you're, you know, even an average angler yet because everybody's got to start somewhere man everybody it's like be, becoming a good fisherman is like building a house with bricks you know some people are, are just laying their first brick and other people are you know pretty much done with their house so uh, if you if you're just starting out and you're struggling don't feel bad about it man because every person out there is in the same boat we all have to start somewhere but specifically what i want to talk about today is sort of giving yourself a time frame what you think how long it's going to take if you just are getting into fishing or maybe you've been fishing a little bit for a few years and you you know you've caught some fish and caught some bass but you don't know a lot about it a lot of this has to do with the uh how much passion and desire you have to get better because <clears throat> the thing about passion and desire it's so important in every part of life it will get you what you need to get to be successful and if you don't have that it's going to take a little bit longer but realistically, and I'll sort of give you a time frame here. If you, if if you dive into it, where you got, there, there's okay. There, we'll start from one extreme to the other. It's, let's start if you just are ate up with it. Say you get into bass fishing and you just, or fishing in general, and you just love it and you can't get enough of it and you want to really get good. If you spend a lot of time fishing on the water, reading about fishing, talking about fishing, talking about people that, talking to people that fish. You can pretty much figure if you do this for a couple years, you're going to start seeing a noticeable increase in the success level you have on the lake. Your, your, your days of not catching them are going to become fewer and fewer and fewer simply because you're assimilating information. Not only you're gathering information from outside sources like YouTube, but you're applying it to real on the water situations and you're going to notice your techniques and your success improving and another thing you're going to notice is you're going to take techniques say for example like what i talk about here on the channel and you're going to put your own personal twist on it and your own your own engine ingenuity and creativity and you may have more success at a certain technique than i do based upon if you know how you modify it to suit your own needs but if you're just a casual observer of the sport and say you've been fishing a few, few time and yeah you want to get good but you don't go to the lake or the creek or the ponds very much and you don't you know you spend more time you know working out in the yard or doing this and that or you know going playing golf or whatever <clears throat> it's going to take you a long time to notice any success and you might never i mean you may be stuck at the same level you know from now on and of course there's levels in between that as far as you know the time frame but I think a lot of it has guys it has to do with how busy you are in life because everybody doesn't have time just to spend their, all their time fishing on the water thinking about fishing i don't i mean i i've done this for a living forever and i still have a life outside of fishing and responsibilities so everybody has a different situation that gives them an, a certain amount of time that they can spend on it so and that, that's, that should be sort of comforting in your own situation there because it's, a lot of times you just have to prioritize things in life. But if you've got, let's say for example, you're like everybody and you've got a limited amount of time to think about fishing and spend about fishing, and but you want to get good at fishing, but you just don't have a lot of time. The best thing that you can do is in your spare moments, if you say for example, you've, you want to learn a certain, certain technique, just Google it on YouTube and say, pitching and flipping or jerk bait fishing or whatever you're going to get a bunch of videos come up you can watch those videos you can hear people talking about it they can show you techniques uh, maybe like me it may be in the tackle room talking about it some people may be out in the water but you can get sort of a, uh, a a mental picture of the technique and then what you have is spend those days that you do have to be able to go out in the water working on a specific technique when you go out there if you've got a limited amount of time don't just go out there and go fish and say okay today i'm going to spend my day on the water i've got say i've say i've got one day say i've got two days a month to fish today i'm going to spend my time doing nothing but trying to learn how to catch fish on a jig 
and I'm going to take nothing but jigs with me, and I'm going to look for the type of areas that I think that I can catch fish on jigs based upon the YouTube videos I've watched, or the same with a jerk bait, or the same with a crank bait. And once you do that, you will, if, if you focus on one specific technique at a time, your the learning curve will really be cut down. And you and especially if you can get a few bites doing it, you'll learn real quick. Because that's one of the things about any technique that you learn in fishing, it's very critical to get bit on it because you have to you have to feel what that strike feels like on a jig or a jerk bait or a crankbait or an Alabama rig. And once you do that, it's almost like a light clicks in your head. And it's, all, it's sort of like muscle memory a little bit with anything. So it's very important to get a few bites and catch a few fish on a technique. And that really opens up a, another world with you. But anyway, guys, that's sort of the deal. It's like, it's uh, different for everybody. Um, it's like anything else, the success that you have on it is gonna be dependent upon how much energy you put into it. And um, it's, uh, everybody's situation is different out there. So anyway, thanks for checking in. I'll talk later.